There are about 200,000 people who are living with HIV in Namibia. Of those 130,000 are receiving antiretroviral therapy. The General Secretary of the Namibia Red Cross Society, Naimi Haita, attributed the decline to community volunteers and health workers who carry out awareness campaigns amongst their communities. It is in the communities that the battle against HIV and AIDS is going to be won. That is where the Red Cross volunteers help families and communities care for their own members. That is where we use our unique network of volunteers to promote prevention of uh, HIV. Volunteers are friends, they are the peers, and they are the leaders who are able to change the mindset and to raise awareness among the communities where they are from. However, she says, there has been a drastic reduction in donor funding for HIV programs in recent years, and the need to mobilize capital locally to fund the program. At the occasion, Cornelia Angola, who has been living with the virus since 2000, shared her story. I was not educated, but when I became positive, I went to support workshops, and now I've gained certificates from my HIV courses. My message to you is that if you are found positive, that is not the end of the world. Yours is to take your medication regularly, rest, and don't overwork yourself. It does not mean when you are infected, you should stop working. Just continue working. The Namibia Red Cross Society donated 100 food parcels to beneficiaries at the Kilimanjaro informal settlement. We must fight for AIDS and we must stand up for our, ourselves so that we can, uh, we can not end up on, on being destroyed by that disease. AIDS is just disease like other diseases. When there are meetings of AIDS by Red Cross or municipality, people should attend and not stay at home because AIDS is not only about the infected but also the affected. The day is celebrated under the theme, the right to health. More than 36 million people are living positive with HIV and AIDS around the globe. Julia Napuka, NBC News, Vincent.